What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got our first future star from Team 2 to review and it is going to be Vert up first. He looks like an amazing card. 90 pace with 94 dribbling, 88 shooting, 93 passing with a 76 physicals as well. I wasn't actually expecting him to be 92 overall, but I ain't complaining. Now we did do a review on his play of the month card when it came out and I think he was actually one of like the first player of the month Bundesliga cards this year. And he was good, very good. For the time it came out, he was a nice cam to have in your team. It's just, obviously now he's kind of outdated. So it's nice to see they gave this card a really, really big increase. He's a five foot nine player with high medium work rates, four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. Now he is currently extinct on PlayStation, but I managed to pick him up for 726K on Xbox. So luckily he's not extinct on Xbox. Either way, the chem style I've decided to go for is the Hawk chem style. I definitely do believe it's between like the Hawk and Hunter. If you want to go for the extra pace, yeah, you go for the Hunter chem style, right? It's just the Hawk chem style still gives him a nice pace increase. You're giving this guy 99 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. For a cam, I feel like that's more than enough. But the main reason I've gone for Hawk chem style is because of the long shots. Get, giving him 95 long shots with 99 shot power, I know is going to be absolutely amazing. Especially playing this guy in a cam position, he's going to be on the edge of the box. He's probably going to be free or wide open, let's say, a few times. And you can obviously just give the finesse shot a go. But that's not the only only reason I've also also gave him the increase because of the not the increase so the Hawk chem style because of the increase to the aggression like going from 76 aggression up to 86 you are definitely going to notice that in game but yeah shooting ability looks absolutely amazing he's got 98 attacking position 95 finishing 99 shot power 95 long shots 81 volleys with the 85 penalties as well unfortunately he does not have the finesse shot trait but he's got the outside foot shot trait which is really really good to have this year now the passing ability it looks incredible it looks like he's going to be able to pass with both feet perfectly, especially saying that he has got a four-star weak foot to his game. Now, the dribbling ability, he has got an average body type, which is okay. You know, it isn't anything amazing. It isn't anything bad either. Average body type is just okay to deal with, especially with those kind of dribbling stats. I feel like he's going to feel amazing in game. Yes, it would have been nicer to him to have a lean body type, but you know, it is what it is. He's got 96 agility, 92 balance, 85 reactions, 94 ball control, 96 dribbling with a 91 composure. I'm expecting him to feel amazing in game, man. Hopefully he's one of those players that can twist and turn anyone inside out. Now the links, German also comes on by a Leverkusen. The links are good. Not outstanding, just straight up good, right? You can get a strong link with a player like Royce. You can get a strong link with a player like Collins. You get a strong link with a player like Sule as well. So yeah, the links, the links are very, very nice to work with. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing Vert in two positions. I am going to be playing this card in a cam position, obviously his natural position, but I'm also going to be playing him in a strike position as well because I want to see that finishing inside the box. I want to see how good it's actually going to be. But yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. Touch and turn. Nice shielding. Well played, man. Good ball control as well. Accelerate. Oh, my God. That acceleration. Oh, one dribble as well. Oh, my God. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ball roll. Good turn. Go for the shot. Nah, I was put under so much pressure. And Mbappe misses that opportunity as well. The ball control there from Verts, though, was amazing. Like, you can tell under pressure, those little tight touches was really nice to work with there. I'm just going to play a line here. See if anyone's going to come short. There you go, man. Nice little passing option. He's going to make a running behind. There you go. He sees the centre back out of position. No, I tried to go for a finesse shot. We was in like a great position as well. And with the long shots he has, we need to give that a go. We need to see if it's going to fly. And it's just, yeah, I ended up red timing it. Turn. Another turn. This guy's AI defending. Look at the pace though. Pass across. Mbappe, don't miss this one. No way Rudiger actually gets a block in there. Really good acceleration through the space there. See if I can hit this guy on a quick counter. Vert, you're going to make that run? You are. Come on, man. You got that pace. You know you got that pace. This is against the lane as well. Ball roll. Keep it calm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to smack that towards the near post. And he actually reads it. This guy defends that really well, man. Driven that straight through the middle there. There you go. That is a horrific pass. Let's see if he's got the pace to get it ahead of Varane. Hold up. Hold up. There you go. Nice shielding as well. Ball roll. Let's keep it calm. Nice little touches. Fake shot through there. Oh, I tried to fake shot through his legs because I saw this guy was just second man pressing and he wasn't actually controlling Veranda. I might just turn out here because I'm going to, yeah, I was about to get closed down. We're going to go for the switch as well. He's got a good long passing, so I'm expecting it to work. And look how perfect it is. Can we get the assist? No way. Get a goal. No way. This the hair. This player of the hair is on something, man. I'm telling you guys. Like This guy's been putting out wonder saves the whole week against me. You can tell why he's positioning right here. 
Like, he's literally off the screen. He's playing in a cam position, I promise you guys. And he's off the screen. He's trying to play in more like a striker position. You see how aggressive he is? Like, he's still not pushing into that position. Where's my cam at? Can I accelerate past him? I can. We'll roll that as well. Nice dribbling. Can I get past him here? Oh, my God. No, if he hit him with the Lacoqueta there. Oh, my God. We would have got past him. You see how close, like, he was keeping that ball to his feet once again, though, under pressure and everything. I'm telling you, it was just a Lacoqueta. If it came off, we're past him. This guy's pushing a lot of players forward. I'm going to see if I can just find that middle. There you go. Pass up the vert. Oh, my God. For a second, I thought he was going to do it too late. Keep it going. One, two. Give it back to him. Accelerate. Good use of pace. Good use of strength as well. Look at the touches. Roulette. No, it went through his legs as well. I feel like that should be at least a free kick. It's a good turn. Come on, Verts. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to test out his pace here. Full roll. No, he actually didn't read the cut back there. And now he's going to. I'm kind of in a sticky situation, but we're out of it. No, and then I couldn't get the pass there to Mbappe. If we get that pass off, I do actually think we have a goal. But once again, man, really nice use of pace there to get in front of the player. Is Verts going to give me a passing option? Or is he going to make a run in behind? Look at him. He's making runs in behind, man. He really doesn't like play in that cam position. He's always inside the box, trying to be that person that scores those goals. Oh, that was a nice little touch there, but we couldn't get that instant turn. There's so many players inside this guy's box right now. There you go. Give it to Mbappe. Down. La Coqueta. Good touch. Nice turn as well. Smack it towards the near post. And he should not be missing from there. Really nice dribbling. Turning a player inside out and just a tidy finish towards the near post. Come on, accelerate. Keep it going. Get in front of him. There you go. One, two. He's in. I like I'm going to give it to Mbappe. Shot cancel the key pod. There you go, man. I could have sweated it, but there's literally no fun, right? I might as well shot, run, uh, shot cancel the keeper, go around him, and get an easy finish. I'm going to go for this free ball, man. He's not really making a run, but I just want to see if it's actually going to work, and it's a perfect pass. Control him here. Give him the ball. Nah, I've messed up the whole play, man. I should have just allowed him to make a run because I saw he was going to be aggressive there. Ball roll it. Keep it calm. I see that pass in the middle, but I didn't really want to go for it. I don't know why. I just didn't trust in the pass there. And we could go for a pass here to Mbappe. Touch. Chip him. It's a goal, right? It has to be a goal. Yeah, I was about to say. Mbappe, he ain't going to miss on there. And it was a beautiful overtop through through as well from Vert. I kind of want to give the long shot a go, but this guy's really not giving it to me, man. He's defending pretty well. See if I can go for a few twists and turns. There you go, man. We got it. Green timed. Yeah, I was about to say, he has to go in. Green timed. He was kind of standing still, to be fair, which is a little bit questionable. I did try to force him to take that touch, but he clearly didn't want to. Him having 95 long shots and 99 shot power, you definitely expect that to go in, man. Get that down for the gap. We'll roll. That's a nice little turn. We got an opportunity to go for another long shot, but this one just goes past the post. I did mistime it. It obviously wasn't green, but it was still actually a really nice shot. It challenged the keeper still. That's a good ball. Go on, Neymar. Get there. Please. No way. Oh, my God. Give it to Verts here. Full roll. I think, yeah, I was about to say, I think he's going to think I'm going to go for the pass up top. And he actually misses that opportunity. Verts having 99 shot power and 95 finishing. And that is on his stronger foot as well. I'm at least expecting it to go on target, man. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. See, how, see what Verts does here. Is he going to give me that passing option? Look at him making a run. I'm telling you guys, like, he is so aggressive. He wants to be that person that gets inside that box. And he wants to be the person that scores those goals. Like, I'm really, really surprised how aggressive he actually is. And uh, this guy's apparently just going to leave. I was going to shoot that free kick as well. Can I need a passing option here? Anyone going to give it to me? There you go. Verts actually came short there. Good acceleration. Oh, my God. No. Give it back to him. Full roll. Good turn. We'll roll again, give it maybe over to Neymar and then Team Lee and Marquinhos reads us like an absolute book. I'm telling you guys that like, he's dribbling under pressure is insane. Fake it out here. Good turn. We'll roll that again. He did a falling over animation, but the one thing I'm impressed about there is the fact that he didn't actually get completely pushed off the ball by a Team Lee and Marquinhos, especially with how his strength is. I definitely thought it was going to happen. Good turn, man. Good step overs as well. Chip him. Nah, I tried to chip from there. Give it back to him. Accelerate. Good acceleration. Ball roll again. Accelerate past him. That wasn't the greatest on, of defending for my opponent, I must admit. Can we spin him? That's beautiful. Finesse shot inside the box. I don't do it very often, but there is definitely some certain angles that you can do it, and it will fly in, and that was one of them. Give it through the middle. Give it down. Where's he going to feel? I'm going to go. I'm going to go straight through the middle. I don't think he's marked it, but then there's Varane. 
Varan, he just wants to be everywhere. He wants to get to literally every single thing. And there was a nice acceleration touch on Vertus there as well. And I honestly didn't think Varan was going to get there. But yeah, we got lucky to get a rebound. Turn him, Neymar. Turn him. There you go. Give it to Vertus. Good little turn down. I'm going to go for it. It's a power shot. I even yellow timed it as well. That is not a great timing, man. But hey, we score it. The amount of shot power behind this was stupid. And yeah, the accuracy, you can tell it was there. I mean that real quick. There you go, Neymar. Give it to Verts as well. He's literally wide open. We're going to chip him. Go on. Please go in. Questionable, right? Very questionable from the goalkeeper. I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing. It looks like he actually slowed down on purpose to not get the ball. And this guy, he had enough. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing five games with Verts. We actually scored six goals. And we also came out with a single assist as well. I'm kind of disappointed we only scored six goals. Especially with how aggressive this guy was in the cam position. He was pretty much playing in that strike position the majority of the time. It's just when you're matching up against a Varane. You're matching up against a Rudiger. Literally every single game. It's always going to be hard to score against those two centre backs. Especially with their blocking animation. The amount of blocks I saw today was absolutely disgusting. But yeah, it is what it is six goals in five games saying they was playing in the cam position the majority of the review is still very very good now the one thing i would say really impressed me on this card was how he was under pressure you can tell that composure comes into play with that ball control combining as well the ball control under pressure was incredible to work with and you can tell those instant touches under pressure as well is really really nice i thought for a second going into this the reactions being 85 it wasn't going to be anything amazing you know maybe certain touches are a little bit delayed i did notice it maybe one or two times but less less than i actually thought i was going to notice it let's say but yeah dribbling ability top tier passing ability as well you guys saw it it was absolutely amazing with both feet the shooting ability the power you can tell the power is definitely there man there was even an opportunity where i mistimed it and it flew into the back of the net with a lot of power i genuinely couldn't believe how much power was behind the shot so yeah shooting ability really really nice as well especially for a cam the pace the touch turn instant acceleration insane on this card but you can definitely tell players like Varane, players like Rudiger as well, they're going to eventually catch up to him. And that is something that happened over and over again. The instant acceleration was there with us. It's just eventually players like Varane, players like Rudiger, because they got more sprint speed to their game. Yeah, they catch up to this Verts card. But I was actually quite happy with, with the physicals. Really happy with the aggression. You can tell he's a fighter, a person that fights for your club and a person that doesn't really get pushed off the ball as often as I thought he was going to get pushed off. Like, you look at 71 strength, you're thinking so many centre-backs can get this guy completely off the ball. But trust me, it wasn't the case. It really wasn't. Players like Rudiger was struggling, and sometimes players like Varane was also struggling as well. So yeah, I was actually quite impressed with his strength. I thought he was going to be a player that gets completely bullied, but he clearly wasn't. Now, as I told you guys, the card is going for around 726,000 coins. It's a lot of coins. He's literally going for more than like a team of the 11 Dolsky. And when you have a player like Headline and Kunku going for like 430k on Xbox and 500k on PlayStation. There's no need to obviously pay that amount for this card. So yeah, there's no question about it. He is overpriced. Where do I believe he will maybe settle at after like 24 hours? I, honestly, I feel like 500k, 550k, something around there is really, really nice. But I still feel like maybe that is just slightly overpriced. Maybe dropping into like the 400k, 450k mark. I feel like that may be a actual good price for him. But yeah, something around 400 to 550k, that's, th that's good. But 726k, yeah, it definitely, definitely is overpriced. Now, if we're actually comparing him to Bundesliga cams, the best one that I can think of is Nkunku. Like, you got Muller, but let's push Muller to a side, especially with, like, his physicals, his passing and stuff like that. He, he's not up to the level of Verts, right? So the best comparison is Nkunku. Who would I rather have? I reckon I would rather have this Verts card, you know? Especially with how sh he's shooting is. I definitely would prefer Verts in the cam position over Nkunku, but no doubt about it, Nkunku in the sentiments as CDM position, right? So yeah, I definitely do believe this Verts card is the best cam in the Bundesliga. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? We literally released the attacker's tier list like three days ago as well. The only cam that made the S tier was Phil Foden. Do I believe this card is on a Phil Foden kind of level? I don't, especially with Phil Foden having that lean body type as well and feeling absolutely stupid on the ball. I don't believe he is up there. So yeah, Vert is going to go into the A plus for me. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.